This is how they line up. Let's just see what our colleagues in Spain have gone for for the Barcelona. Oh, 3 3 1 3. A little bit different. We'll see how it pans out once the first whistle blows. So, in total, the changes out go Jordi Alba, Jeremy Mathieu, Rafinha, and Andre Gomez. And in come Gerard Piquet, Samuel Titi, Andres Iniesta, and Lionel Messi. Just a quick question on, on Iniesta. Yeah, he's only finished, well, completed five games this season. Five games. This is one of the most important players of recent history of Barcelona, but certainly one that is not able to play as often as he did. So the kind of looking after him. There with, with three at the back and, and five midfielders, uh, trying to, to get that press high, trying to go and, 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 and correct. Um, Vicente Borra, who is back in the starting line at one of three changes for Sevilla uh, from the 0 0 draw at home to Sporting on, on Sunday morning. Uh, so in come Gabriel Mercado, Sergio Escudero, and Iborra, the captain, and out go Pablo Sarabia, Matias Canavita, and Wissam Ben Yedda. Uh, so they've gone for a 3 5 2 here. I mean, it, honestly, with Jorge Sampaoli, could be absolutely. First patch of form in the entire season, the very inopportune time for them. A month ago, Sevilla were two points off the top of the table but no win in four has put them very Iniesta Suarez does well and the defender and Messi off the other side of the bar well he's desperately unlucky there we've had three and a half minutes of total domination from Barcelona who look really sharp Severo with San Benyeda it's only a substitute. Messi. Suarez so good at pinning his defender. And claiming he should have had a penalty. Pereja was the, the man who was guarding him. Longley, the French defender. Well, he certainly looked to have a hold. Iniesta. Sees a gap. And so often he does. And in the end, routine for Rico. Yes, that taking the opportunity to drive at a defence. It's a slight defect. Well, Sampaoli has clearly turned up in Spain wanting to be a winner and be wanting a fresh injection into the squad. This coming summer, free kick and a yellow card for PK. In the only minutes of the game, Barcelona, such was their dominance and, and the amount of possession they had, Sevilla were forced into a back five. And now we're seeing Sevilla turning it. What would Sampaoli would have liked? Good top for Nzonzi, it's got away from Mascherano! It's a type of challenge from Mascherano, he has to win at all costs. He tries to kick through the ball, it's a flimsy challenge from Mascherano, certainly wasn't from Nzonzi, he perhaps should have done better. Looks for Rakitic! Sergio Rico looked calm enough, the goalkeeper felt it was dropping wide. It was three against two now. Maxic is the plan, it's able to get free. Get the header in on goal, Escudero comes across too late. Here's Messi. Iniesta looks for Messi, Sergio Roberto's in there! See, Iniesta with a clear cross towards the, the far post, just deflects off of Messi. Son just needed one of those midfield players to be getting in around the edge of the box, the penalty spot for Skets and Ibora. Lionel Messi. Scampers away from Longley. And it's Luis Suarez! Fabulous finish! The real jack in the box, isn't he, Luis Suarez? He makes those decisions so much quicker than anyone else inside the penalty area and left Sergio Rico with no chance. Well, it's quite improvisation, isn't it? Not for the first time we've seen from Luis Suarez. It's Messi who starts it, scampering away down the right wing, using exclusively, almost always, all the way through that run, his left foot. The ball goes into the box, it just kicks up, sits up. And somewhat nicely in the end for Luis Suarez, not for most players. So little put on the shirt there on Messi. And Suarez just improvises acrobatically with the overhead kick. Sergio Rico, slightly taken by surprise, I think. The element of Luis Suarez's skill, the speed which he pulled off that 
wonderful finish. It's given away to Rakitic, Sevilla got a lot of bodies ahead of the ball to the extent it's four against three in favour of Barcelona. This is Neymar. Still open here, Sevilla. Messi, 2-0. possession from Sevilla inside the Barcelona half and two or three passes later Barcelona sweep into a 2-0 lead you can understand the anguish of San Paolo they're giving away cheap possession then it was four against three Luis Suarez and Messi just had a glance across to each other came up with a little plan Rakitic feeds it into Neymar who cuts it back it did appear for a split second that the chance had gone Suarez on hand to cut it back. Lionel Messi, precise finish. Doesn't just hit it and hope. It is close range. Plenty of bodies back behind the ball in an attempt to try and block the finish from Messi. Then he goes low, it goes under Lengle, it goes under Sergio Rico. In the second. Mascherano winning the initial header. Up goes Rakitic. And now Messi! Barcelona look to be out of sight of San Paoli severe already. Two for Messi, one for Suarez. Three goals in eight minutes. <laughs> it's fair to say Barcelona are on fire. We talk about burying a chance. If you don't ever want an example, that's it. Lionel Messi absolutely buries that emphatically. It's been blistering stuff from Barcelona in the first half. They know they're up against really good opponents. They know they have to be at their best. Starts from the corner, flicking at the near post, isn't cleared by Sevilla. Pass them to keep it in the danger area, and it's always the danger area when Lionel Messi is hovering around. Hits it there footed, down into the ground to make sure that it doesn't go over the crossbar. It's good control on the finish, and goalkeeper's got 15. Packer closing in on them. Barca closing in on them, in the shape of Neymar. And there's Messi! Who's eyeing the hat qualifiers? Oh, they're in trouble here, Sevilla. A real miss! And Sergio Rico found his way back home. There's the one. Now that's back to find the now centre ball position. Luis Suarez again, not for the first time in this half, despite his team being three. This is Mariano. Shots on. Testegan. Putting a strong up for Sarabia. Vitolo. Sarabia. With no pressure whatsoever. In the second half, Sarabia are causing problems, creating chances. Probably should have a goal by now in the second half. Well, that's clearly with this packed month of April in mind, a fit. Luis Suarez leaves after 64 minutes. Don't often see that. Ocho. Y son conscientes de que todo el planeta estará pendiente de lo que hagan. Son los dos mejores jugadores del mundo y una vez más el duelo se prevé al más alto nivel futbolístico.